history repeating. We're just across from the Golden Gate Bridge to my right. We're at the very spot where Al Gore first conceived of the internet. Do you think that contamination, pollution, and whatnot is adversely affecting the blogosphere? Yes. Could you tell me how? Oh, for many reasons, you know, heating the, the planet, uh, having this uh, ozone uh, belt uh, destroyed and so on. Uh, that's so, so many ways. Hey, do, you, do you think that the, the contamination, global warming is going to adversely affect the blogosphere? Well, it probably would too, you know, the global warming. I guess uh, the weapons of mass destruction, a lot of war crimes in the Middle East, and, you know, it might in interfere with, the, you know, some of the... What impact will uh, global warming have on the blogosphere? I think it has shut it down a lot. Question for you. Do, you. do you think that environmental, adverse environmental conditions are, are also impacting the blogosphere? Oh, I think so, tremendously. Do, do you think it is? Yeah, I do. So you think the blogosphere is in serious trouble? Uh... Yay or nay? In, in trouble? I mean, it's well, a growing concern. It is a growing concern. Okay, so I'm here with two. You girls aren't that sweaty, by the way. You look lovely, and you don't need to change your hair a bit. Have you seen Al Gore's new movie, The Inconvenient Truth? Uh, I've heard of it, yeah. Okay, do you think that all that's going on environmentally is adversely affecting the blogosphere? So you think that the blogosphere is now being destroyed? Is that correct? Yeah, I think so. How, how about yourself, Pascal? I agree, yeah. yeah. You girls, by, by the way, you girls have MySpace accounts? Yes. Can you tell me what's on your account? Um, pictures of, of things I've done this year, my senior year. Okay, so how has the internet impacted your life, Elvis? Okay, which one of you guys is the homecoming queen? So there's a lot of queens in San Francisco. You just happen to be one of them, right? Yeah. Okay, tell me, um, are you on Facebook? I am on Facebook. Sorry. Is KFIT one of your friends there? <laughs> Absolutely not. Uh, if you had a MySpace account, would you want KFED to be one of your friends on MySpace? No. Have you met some hot guys out there? I haven't noticed, really. How about you, Kathy? Met some hot guys on CatholicMatch.com? Well, of course there's hot guys there, but... Uh... Tony, what do you do for a living? I'm a psychotherapist. A psychotherapist? Tony's a psychotherapist. So you must love living in San Francisco. I'm going to ignore that one. So are you on MySpace? Yeah. Oh, you are in MySpace. Are you on MySpace? Yeah. You meet a lot of cool guys out there? I don't want to date You've never gone to Match.com? No, I have not. So you, you don't date off the internet? I don't date off the internet. Uh, how about you? No, and I hope I never have to. Oh, well, my name is uh, Tony. Can you meet a lot of hot chicks on the internet by using things like MySpace? Uh, hot chicks. Hot chicks. Hot chicks. Hot chicks. Um, I didn't use it as stuff, so I don't know. Have you ever met any really interesting women on the internet? No. Hot chicks. Hot chicks. If I had to take the TV away or the internet, which would you give up reluctantly? Um, the TV probably. I can't live without internet. Uh, I work for a teenage travel company. Teenage travel company. So you're, you're, there's a reason why you're stalking high school kids. <laughs> exactly. I got to see what my kids are up to my students. Now, how many kids do you stalk? Um, I have like you know, 100 friends. I'm not the most popular kid on Facebook. I don't add people at random. Stop the war. Stop the war. Stop the killing now. Okay, what do you think of Dick Cheney and how he nearly shot his best friend in that Hyundai accident there? Well, I, I really don't care too much about that. The big challenge for companies like Use Dim Sum is how do we deploy on the Internet? Given the fact that we have conventional signage and branding techniques, how do we deploy? Okay, so I saw your ad on the internet. Do you guys, do you guys do waxing for men? Like, can I get a like a Brazilian? Oh no, no. <laughs> the name of the movie is called "One Flew Over the Cocoa Puffs." I'm here with Yun. Yun, what's going on here today in in the neighborhood? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. 
this way to communicate versus cell phones and calling and everything. If we could just send each other messages on MySpace all day. That is so cool. You found sisters that you otherwise wouldn't have contacted, hadn't it? Exactly. And we're also trying to find another sister, Nicole. How many sisters do you have, Joyce? <laughs> oh, my dad was busy. <laughs> my dad was busy. <laughs> I'm the oldest, though, but my dad was busy. Do you think you have, like, 20 sisters or, like, 10 sisters? You know what? We might have five extra. <laughs> Uh, how many hours hours do you spend actually doing things on the internet? Eight. And how, and how many of those hours are for personal things? Eight. <laughs> so you basically don't work, and some guy's paying you. <laughs> right on. You like MySpace.com? Huh? MySpace. You use MySpace? <laughs> no, I don't know. You're on MySpace, huh? You're on MySpace young. <laughs> he doesn't use MySpace. What about Facebook? Huh? Facebook? That's fine, huh? <laughs> Where were you born? Huh? You see that you're a smoker. Do you know that you can be? Do you know you can be arrested in San Francisco for smoking? You're smoking cigarettes. Okay, be careful around the police because you can go to jail for smoking in this city. You know that. Too. It's against the law to smoke now in San Francisco. It's okay if you guys want to shoot heroin. That's okay, but don't smoke. Okay. <laughs> and don't mix up paper and plastic, please. Okay. <laughs> There's a lot of lonely San Francisco men that missed on Tony. She's really a pretty girl. And what do you want from me? Money? Because I show you guys on the internet. Where do you really think? Get a gift yep. of uh, our business. Grow up. Only two million people are going to see this, but for those of you in New York, these guys do not do waxes if you come here to San Francisco, right? You guys do no, no male waxes? No. Okay, they don't do waxes. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Uh, how long are you in San Francisco? Uh, How many years? Yeah. Jan's been here a long time. He's having a great time here. He was here actually with the Union Pacific Railroad. He's a good guy. Okay, Jan. We're with two lovely girls in San Francisco. Do you have any any friends in New York you'd like to say hi to? <laughs> um, Brooke, hi. <laughs> uh, Steve and Jim, hello. She knows a lot of guys there, and she's not on Match.com. Thank you very much. Oh, one thing before you go, you have a friend at this conference. I do, possibly. And and who is the friend? Caroline. You want to say hi to Caroline? What, what's up? Hello. Okay, Caroline, that's Claire saying hi to you. Okay, have a nice day. Last question: This whole dispute between Rosie O'Donnell and Donald Trump, who do you side with? Uh, I don't have. I don't. I don't really have that much opinion on that. Okay, thanks, Frank. Thanks so much, and I guess you want to continue with your uh, march and protest. It's a pleasure talking to you. Take care, Frank. All right, there you have it. Man on the street, San Francisco. Three, two. One of the major. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is a cool. I gotta change the <laughs> Did you get that? Oh my God! Yeah. <laughs> Did you? Yep. Sides <laughs> of the little bits of history repeating.